Hello, I'm Paulie Highland, veterinary surgeon, and I'm here today in Clara in Kilkenny and joined by two local dairy farmers, Lester Ryan and Tom Carrigan, to talk about mastitis. So Tom, it's come up the drying off time of year. How did you get on with mastitis this year? Uh, no, we had very uh, low incidence of mastitis. We just had two cases all summer and the cell count is looking like it's going to average around 62 for the year. And is there any reasons you could put, that, put, that, put down your success at mastitis control this year? Well, I would think it's uh, the dry off period is crucial. Um, and we use bovie seal during the dry off period and I think that's ma- the main reason for keeping it low. And Lester, how did your mastitis con- control go this year? Yeah, very similar to Tom. We had a less than 10% case of mastitis all through the summer. Last year was the first year I was using bovie seal during the dry cow period. I felt it followed on then to the next lactation where there was very, very low instance of mast- mastitis. So why did you start using bovie seal? Uh, it came on a recommendation of our discussion group, a couple of people were using it and getting good results and our veterinary surgeon as well had recommended it so we gave it a go and it seems to be working very, very well. So you've seen clear advantages since starting to use Bovisil last year? Yeah, well even during the dry cow period just to know like the, there was no um, no case of mastitis and in terms of time management at the time of the year with short days worked very well and then the follow on period then lower SCC. So lads, would you recommend bovi seal for all farmers? Yes, I certainly recommend it. Absolutely, yes. Uh, seen a couple of friends going away from uh, the bovi seal the last few years, and they're they're all coming back to it now. Look, we're both off farm a lot, and bovi seal gives us confidence during the dry cow period.